What's up? It's your boy, Soul Immortal. And man, I want to talk about the power of paradigms, man. See, people always say that they are a product of their environment. And, and I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I mean, I mentioned in, in one of my other videos that if a person is raised in a household making a certain you know, amount of money, living at a certain standard, then it's pretty much automatic that that person is going to get back to that level later in life, unless they become conscious of it. If a person is raised in an abusive household, you know, a household where they're seeing, you know, maybe their parents fighting all the time or, or they're getting beat, right? Then it's pretty much going to be automatic that that person later in life is going to be in that exact same situation, right? That they're a product of their environment. That's the way it is. I mean, you take a person that spent ample time in prison, you know, that person gets out and they have a certain mindset. You know, we, we call that institutionalized, right? But all it is, is is they're just being a product of their environment, man. And that's just the way it's going to be unless they become conscious of it. So the only way around being a product of your environment is to become conscious of it and to make a paradigm shift, you know. So, so what is a paradigm shift? A paradigm shift is defined as a change in beliefs, attitudes, or ways of doing things. I'm going to say it one more time. A paradigm shift is a change in beliefs, attitudes, or ways of doing things. Bob Proctor said that paradigms are the only things that stand between you and your goals. And I find that to be 100% true, man. I, I, I really believe that, right? So let's talk about a common paradigm or belief that most people have, right? So, so most, people have, uh, uh, most people have a desire or most people have a goal uh, to become financially independent, right? The far majority of people I know, that, that's what they want. They want financial independence. That's across the board, right? But most people that I know live paycheck to paycheck. Now, now, why is that, man? It, it's, it, it's because of our paradigms, man. Let, let me elaborate. And I'll use my, myself for an example. I can go back to my very first job. I was, about, what, 15, 16 years old, man. I worked for a company as a, as a general laborer, man. And I believe I was getting about $5.25 or $5.50 an hour, somewhere in there, right? But I remember what life was like at that rate of pay. Um, you know, there was enough money, man, for me to, you know, buy me some clothes, put me some fuel in my car, you know, buy me a nice pair of kicks every once in a while, man. But the thing that I remember is that about two or three days before payday, the crunch was on. I was counting money. I was looking, you know, I was making ends meet, man. I was good, but things were tight. So, so I, I think about that's what life was like. At five fifty an hour, right? Fast forward a little bit, man. I think a couple of years later, I began moving furniture. I believe I was getting eleven dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour, plus a little overtime, right? Fast forward past that, I joined the military, made the ranks of sergeant, and I believe I believe a sergeant in uh, in, in around two thousand three, two thousand and four. I believe a sergeant was making about you know thirty two, maybe thirty five thousand dollars a year. And life was good, man. Life was good. Uh, got out of the military, joined the oil field. I think the whole time during the oil field, man, I might have averaged between, you know, fifty and seventy thousand dollars, right? Life was good. Life was good. Got out of the oil field, started doing something, something different, right? And I, rem I remember the first time I made a hundred thousand dollars in a year, and that's when the light bulb went off, man. That's when the light bulb went off. I realized that my current living situation was really no different than it was when I was making $5.25 an hour. In other words, I had bigger toys. I had, I had more things, but my overall situation, you know, my ability to help those around me, it really hadn't changed. You know, my savings account. 
my savings account really wasn't uh, uh, really wasn't a big difference between making over a hundred thousand and making thirty five thousand or making fifty thousand. So that just goes to show you the power of paradigms, man. Once you have a certain belief, once you certain, uh, once you have a certain way of doing things, man, that's going to affect you no matter what. You know, and it, and it wasn't until I hit that hundred thousand dollar mark, man, until I realized, you know what, something is not right. So, something is not right with my way of thinking, and I had to go back in, man, and, and just rewire, reprogram my my complete way of thinking, man. So that just shows you. The power of paradigms, man. So let's go back to being a product of your environment. The, the perfect example of this, man, is in the Bible, man, in Exodus. In Exodus, man, you remember when God gave Moses the command to go back uh, to Egypt and, and, and free the chosen people, man, and, 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 and all this stuff. So Moses goes in and he frees his people, right? He's taking his people from captivity to the promised land, right? But in between, in between into the promised land, they go through the wilderness, right? And, and this is how, this is how the people came at them. If you look in uh, Exodus chapter 14, verse 11, the people said, Hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone? that we may serve the Egyptians for it has been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. See, this is the exact same thing that's going on today, man. You go, you go to the average person and you talk to them about, about, about starting a business or something, man. And they're going to be like, Hey, you know what? Like, like, what are you thinking about, man? Like, like leave us where we are, man. We're like, life is good with our, with our work and, uh, uh, like slaves, life is good with our 401ks, life is good with our, our retirement at 65, life is good with our uh, medical benefits, like, like didn't we tell you, didn't we tell you this was hard, like why are you thinking crazy, you know, it's the exact same thing Puffy was talking about, if you never heard the song, uh, the song uh, Nobody by Rick Ross, it has French Montana in it, has Puffy in it. Puffy was speaking on the same thing. And I quote, you want to you wanna fucking walk around with these roaches? These niggas is roaches. These niggas is mere motherfucking mortals. I'm trying to push you to supreme being. You don't want to motherfucking, you don't want to embrace your destiny. You want to get by. You don't want to go into the motherfucking dark where it's lonely. You can't handle the motherfucking pain or the motherfucking not knowing when shit is going to stop. You fucking want to walk around with these niggas? What the fuck is their culture? What the fuck is their souls at? What defines you? These niggas with these fucking silly looks on their faces. You want to walk around with them or you want to walk with God, nigga? Make up your goddamn mind. End quote. That's exactly what that boy is talking about. Steve Harvey talked about the exact same thing in his video where he talked about uh, if you want to be successful in life, you got to be willing to jump. Now, as soon as you jump, your parachute is not going to come out. You're going to get the bumps and bruises. Bruises. That's the exact same thing he was talking about, man. See, see, most people, most people aren't set up for the wilderness, man, because of their paradigm. They want the easy way out. You know, they, they, they prefer the slave mindset. I'm telling you, man, it's all about your paradigm. It's all about your beliefs. It's all about your way you're accustomed to doing things, man. And it's not, it's not all about money and career, man. Your paradigms, they affect everything, man, it, every portion of your life. You know, it, it, works like, it, it works like cruise control in a car, right? Say, for example, uh, um, let's use weight, for example. Let's say you weigh 200 pounds, right? And you have a goal of getting to 170 pounds. Now, you can, you can go to the gym 365 days a year. But as soon as you start losing weight, your paradigm is going to adjust. It's, it's going to adjust, just like a cruise control adjusts. You know, if you see yourself uh, losing 5, 10 pounds, you, you're going you're gonna to subconsciously find yourself eating out at uh, Popeye's and churches 
every few days just because you haven't made that paradigm shift, man. And your weight is going to eventually just go right back to where it is. That, that's just the way it is, man. Until you make that shift, until you make that conscious decision, until you, you, you made the choice to, hey, you know what? This is who I am. These are my new beliefs. These are the new way, the ways that I'm doing things. You'll, you'll never advance, man. And, you know, it, it's no different with, with relationships, both men and women. If you're if you're a woman and you've been and you've always dated, you know, this kind of guy, a guy that does this, this and this and you don't like it until you until you make the, make a shift in yourself and become something else. No matter what you do, this is going to be the kind of guy that you're going to attract every single time. You know, it, it just comes down, man, to, to the power of your paradigms, man. And you can't you can't really make a change. Unless you understand, you know, until you understand why you why you do the things you do, uh, then, then you can't advance, right? But yeah, man, this is just a quick video, man. I'm actually getting dressed while I'm making this video, man. I gotta I gotta get out of get out of pocket real quick. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna leave the links in the description box of the videos that that I referenced to, man. Go check them out and. Uh, Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. On the next video, man, I'm going to talk about how to get out of your, your current paradigms, how, how to make that shift. So we're going to go into detail on that one, man, when I got some more time. But uh, look for that next video coming, coming out. It's your boy, Solar Mortal, and I'm out.